Kirchnerism is an Argentine political movement based on populist ideals formed by the supporters of Nestor Kirchner and his wife Cristina Fernandez de Kirchner, who consecutively served as presidents of Argentina. Although considered a branch of Peronism, it is opposed by factions of Peronists and generally considered to fall into the category of left-wing populism. Although originally a faction in the Justicialist Party, Kirchnerism later received support from other smaller Argentine political parties while they anti-Kirchnerist factions, those opposing Kirchnerism, are similarly labeled with the expression, anti-K. Both Kirchner and Fernandez come from the left wing of Peronism and both began their political careers as members of the Peronist youth. Many of the Kirchner's closest allies belong to the Peronist left. Anti-Kirchnerists often criticize this ideological background with the term Satantista, suggesting that Kirchnerism is overly influenced by the populist struggle of the 1970s. According to Alberto Fernandez, chief of the cabinet of ministers during the first five years of Kirchnerism and currently serving as president of Argentina, they followed five tenets regarding the economy, which explained the perceived early success of the movement. According to Fernandez, Cristina Fernandez de Kirchner moved away from these five tenets after her husband's death, causing an economic crisis that resulted in the first political defeat of Kirchnerism in a presidential election in 2015. Unlike his predecessor Eduardo Duhald, Kirchner was a Peronist that distrusted the Justicialist Party as a support for his government. He proposed instead a transversalist policy seeking the support of progressive politicians regardless of their party. Thus he got support from factions of the Justicialist Party, the Radical Civic Union and small center-left parties. Kirchner neglected the internal politics of the Justicialist Party and kept instead the front for Victory Party, which was initially an electoral alliance in his home province of Santa Cruz and in the 2003 elections premiered in the federal political scene. Some politicians favored by this policy were Anibal Abara, mayor of Buenos Aires for the broad front and supported as Kirchnerist, and Julio Cobos, governor of Mendoza for the UCR and elected as vice president of Fernandez de Kirchner in 2007. The transversalist project was eventually dismissed. Kirchner took control of the Justicialist Party and some radicals K. slowly returned to the anti K faction of their party most notably Vice President Julio Cobos and Governor of Catamarca Province Eduardo Brizuela del Moral, while other very prominent radical politicians remained in the K wing of the Radical Civic Union, such as Provincial Governors Gerardo Zamora of Santiago del Estero, Ricardo Colombi of Corians and Miguel Saiz of Rio Negro. Kirchnerism has encountered opposition from various sectors of Argentine society which tend to criticize its personalism. In 2012, there was a massive anti-Kirchnerism protest in several cities within Argentina and also in several Argentinian embassies around the world. It became known as A10. In 2015, when foreign policy was discussing corruption in Latin America it was stated that the viceroys of the colonial era set the pattern. They centralized power and bought the loyalty of local interest groups. Cordillos, dictators and elected presidents continued the tradition of personalizing power. Venezuela's Chavismo and the Kirchnerismo of Ems Fernandez are among today's manifestations. In an editorial published in October 2015, The Economist expressed the following view about the situation in Argentina. Argentina needs change. As Ems Fernandez slips out of office the economy is starting to crumble. Currency controls and trade restrictions are choking productivity. Inflation hovers at around 25%. Argentina cannot seek external financing until it ends its standoff with creditors who rejected a debt restructuring plan. Unless the new president quickly reverses Ems Fernandez's populist policies, a crisis is inevitable.